Multiplayer definitely is at the centre of Crackdown 2. Non-stop crazy action. It's a very physical game. You can ram people out of the way and it flips them up and they, they spin off into the sky. With plenty explosions. Just general awesome action all around. Picking up vehicles, throwing them across the road. A, a multitude of weapons at your disposal. If you can break it off, you can use it and you can hit people with it. It can just cause complete devastation. We just thought, right, well, let, let's go all out. Let's give them as much as we possibly can. In order to make things clean, you destroy everything. You know, fire cleans all. <laughs> Episode 1. Fun with friends. Uh, a lot of people love the fact that you can have this open world environment and, and mess around with your mates. We've doubled the amount of players for, for co-op. We've turned it up to four player co-op, four times the people, four times the fun basically. There's so many things to do in the city, it's pretty remarkable that we've managed to fit that in. We have to make all of those missions support four players. And not only that, we have to make sure that those missions are supported for four players playing four different missions scattered around the world of Pacific City. You've got all of the, um, as everybody knows, the orbs. It's about making sure that you know you have that group experience with orbs, like renegade orbs, where you know they, they actually make it pretty tricky for you to get hold of them, and they, they run away from you. You know, one person can chase them, and another person can figure out where they're going and and uh, and, and kind of help out. Races, so you've got rooftop races, road races. Uh, you've got all the achievements in the game as well, and there are a bunch of stats that we track, but also go on leaderboards. I'm getting excited, citizen. I must remain. Composed. One thing we're pretty proud of is that you can then seamlessly go from your campaign game into your multiplayer game. There was a few times when you'd be playing the game and somebody would enter your game when you were testing and you didn't actually know they were in and then suddenly this rocket would come from the side and, and there's one of the guys who just joined your game and started blowing everything up. The friends come home from school or work or whatever, they just jump straight into your game. The player can come at a problem from four different sides and just defeat it that much faster. And we've added turreted weapons to all of the vehicles as well. Nominate one guy to drive, he jumps in, three of you jump in the, the back of the vehicle, one of you might have a rocket, another guy a, a heavy machine gun. You can just be a, a hundred mile an hour killing machine soaring through the city. It's awesome. It's really down to the player to try and figure out tactics and strategies to use co-op gameplay. You can just decide to ignore any direction you've been given and just mess around, do what you like. And we've added in the 16-player PvP. We support up to 16 people uh, in, in the online game, um, and that's varying on get different game types. At the moment we've got three different game modes, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch and Rocket Tag. Rocket Tag's a little bit different. Basically, you've got to carry the orb for as long as possible, and the longer you carry it, the more points you score. Everybody's chasing one guy rather than it being kind of everybody against everybody. It's a lot more over the top than what's, what's around at the moment. We want people to play it as long as possible and really create you know, a community for Crackdown. What I describe as one way of, of uh, playing a game, someone else is going to say, oh, I'm not sure about that, but we'll have a completely different and brilliant experience than somewhere else in the game. So, I mean, there's so many different aspects and we've tried to cram a lot in, in Crackdown too and just uh, just hope that you guys enjoy it. Brace yourself, man. It's, it's going to be a wild ride. <laughs>